Hi everybody, this is Dalvin. I just came from Deja Vu Discs. Picked up a couple CDs and albums, um, so I'm going to make a video here showing you my pickups. So let's get started. Uh, first album I picked up was from Dark Tranquility called Character. The album is Character from D Dark Tranquility. Right here to show you. Go the inside here. Now, uh, Dark, Tranquility, Dark Tranquility were one of the pioneers of melodic death metal. I used to listen to them back in the late 2000s, early 2010s, but uh, most of their uh, most of the music I listened to from them were from YouTube or I downloaded torrents. This is the first Dark Tranquility album I actually picked up. So yeah, this is a Dark Tranquility character, a really amazing melodic death album. And like I said, they were they were the pioneer they were the pioneers of the melodic death metal Gothenburg scene. So yeah, Dark Tranquility character. I am now the next album. Oh man, I've been looking this looking for this for a long time. It was in um it was available in HMV, but uh I think all H all is shut down here in Canada, so uh, it's hard to find albums now. But I got Chill and Bodem Something Wild. This was the first album from Chill and Bodem, and uh, this is one of my most favorite albums from them. Uh, great great keyboards in this album, great solos, great vocals, a really good melodic death album. I believe this album was made in the, released in either 1996 or 1997. It was one of those years, but it was very innovative and groundbreaking. And, uh, you know, I, I've seen Children of Bodom three times. They're one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, one of the re main reasons why I even uh, stayed in metal, or they're one of the bands that uh, kept me in metal and helped me, uh, helped me um, find other bands through, through their style of music. So, yeah, Children of Bodom, something wild. Much credit. Amazing album. I'll open it up here to show you the inside. And I'm gonna say something wild was um like I said it was one of my all-time favorite children of albums. It has just this unique sound and feeling to it that no other band produced at that time or even to this date. The, I mean, even to, even to this date, the album is very fresh and innovative. But uh, yeah, Chill the Bottom Something Wild had to get this. Got it for a good price, too. Chill the Bottom, Are You Dead Yet? Now, uh, I, when I first um, started listening to Children of Bodom, this was the current album they recently released, so that was around 2006 or 2005. And uh, I loved Are You Dead Yet. A lot of Children of Bodom fans didn't like it, uh, the older ones at least, but um, I thought it was a great album. It had a lot of good tracks, the, 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 the mixing on it was really well, and uh, it had some... Um, that's uh, some 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 of the songs uh, took back to their melodic death metal roots, but it was a uh, it was an experimental CD, so um, they tried something new and different with it. And I thought he did an amazing job, and I really liked Are You Dead Yet. It has some aggressive tracks, um, it was, it songs with great drumming and um, solos, and uh, I thought it was a great uh, piece. I definitely think it was a Chill Mode masterpiece masterpiece for sure. Hey, this is Chilling the Bodem. Are you dead yet? Just show you one more time. I 
I picked up here Children of Odin Blood Drunk. Now, uh, just to show you the album here. Now, uh, at the time, this was my least favorite album from Children of Odom. Um, the songs in whole weren't so good, but the instrumentals were amazing. But the uh, funny thing about this album, as time went on, as this album aged, I started liking it more and more. And it actually isn't one of my least favorite Children of Odom albums anymore. I, the first time I saw Children of Odom was on the Blood Drunk tour here in Toronto, Canada back in 2009. I was absolutely blown away. They had an amazing concert. Probably um, they had an amazing set. Probably one of the best concerts I've ever been to. And uh, they're probably one of the best live bands ever, if not the best. They're definitely up there in the top three or five, I would say. But um, Children of Odin, Blood Drunk, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really aggressive CD. Uh, has great riffs. Uh, solos are pretty crazy in this album. Uh, it's the the the, the 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 keyboards and synth are a little bit more old school like to to the, to to um, children to children of Odin's, uh older albums but yeah what, what can I say uh, I've been wanting to get this for a while and I got it for a great price so yeah this is children of Odin blood drunk show you right here. This is the inside. Now, another CD I picked up. I think this is my fourth one. It's All That Remains Overcome. Now, um, I have a... Uh, let's show the album here before I get into this. Now I have um, I have several All That Remains albums, and this was um, I downloaded this on a torrent back in 2009 or 2000. No, this, it was like 2008 or seven. I can't remember when this came out. This, this album came out somewhere between 2007 or nine, somewhere there. And I downloaded this album on a torrent, and I loved it. Uh, this was the first album featuring the current drummer Jason Costa, and I thought the drumming improved in their style of music. Um, this, the album had amazing songs, had a good had a good feel to it from start to finish, and uh, I'm not so big on all that remains like I used to be. I actually don't think they're as good as a band as they used to be anymore. Uh, their latest um, releases have been a little soft, have been a little uh, poor, you could say, a little weak. But uh, all that remains overcome. Nothing but praise. I've been wanting to get this album, a physical copy of it, for for, for such a long time now, and I finally got it. Yeah, this is Overcome, just to show you. Right there. And the last album I picked up, well, it's, I'll, get, I'll get into a little funny story about this. Um, I actually... Uh, own this album. It's my second time picking it up, but the reason why I picked it up again because I damaged my album before the case and the artwork. So um, I picked up again In Flames, A Sense of Purpose. Just to show you right here.
Yeah, uh, I played this album up again because I said I damaged my previous copy before and this was in almost perfect shape. And I always wanted to replace this but I couldn't find it. So yeah, a sense of purpose, uh, what can I say, in a great In Flames album, it was the last album featuring Jasper Stromlin from In Flames. It was their probably their last good album as a complete whole, but I actually I, I, I shouldn't even say that because I think Sound So Playground Fading is better than A Sense of Purpose. This is my opinion. But uh, this was um, this was produced and mixed by In Flames in their own studio. And uh, many In Flames fans would say this was their uh, least favorite album. But uh, I think the drumming in this album is amazing. I think the song composition, composition is amazing. Uh, the whole feel to it, the whole atmosphere from start to finish is amazing. And I was pretty big on a sense of purpose when it came out. Um, I saw In Flames under a sense of purpose tour in Toronto. And I, I loved it. I went nuts. I absolutely went nuts. Uh, the songs sounded, sounded amazing live. And that was when In Flames were playing their best uh, in terms of their lives perfor live performances. Live perfor sorry, live performances. And yeah, um, what can I say? Uh, you know, this is... Um, I, I, I have to say this is one of my favorite In Flames albums. It's definitely on that top list because um, I just thought the songs were amazing and the whole mixing and composition everything was really good. So yeah, this is In Flames, A Sense of Purpose. Just to show you here. Yeah, these are my uh, album pick up pickups. I picked up about six albums today in total, I think. Let me count again here. Yeah, I picked up six, uh, six albums in total. Uh, all together, it cost about like 30 bucks. They were all used. But um, I don't have a problem picking up used albums. I actually like it because you save a little bit of money and you still get the same thing when you're buying a new one. But yeah. Uh, I got some great additions to my album collection right now, to my CD collection. It's getting bigger and bigger and um, I'm really happy with picking up these albums because I listened to some of these uh, albums before in the past, a long time ago, where I always wanted to have them but I couldn't find them. But yeah, great metal bands, great uh, songs, uh, great metal music in general. So yeah, these are my CD pickups for today. This is Dalvin. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.